Hi, this is Tim. With summer coming, I wanted to give you some ideas on how to keep your kids engaged in STEM. And being a tech company, I'm sure you're expecting a really high tech solution from us, but I'm gonna recommend some books. Since schools have gone to having more curriculum on PCs, Amber and I were initially concerned with just how much time they were spending in front of computer screens. And now I'm not gonna argue whether that's good or bad because really, I don't know. But we did get them these books over here and what we did find is they really helped strengthen their foundation in math and science. So I wanted to recommend these books and two of them are by the same author and they're actually a very similar structure and they are the everything you need to know about math in one big fat notebook and the everything you need to know about science in one big fat notebook. And these are really good books. And it could be that I lean towards these because their structure is kind of similar to how we teach PLC training is, well, first it is very colorful. I do kind of like color. They use some good visuals. They give you some key concepts. And at the end of each chapter, there's not a hundred question test. There's just a few questions about each concept to make sure you understood it. And the answers are right on the next page. So kids, you do need to be honest here. But what we do is we get them to go through one chapter a day, and then we go over them at the end and just make sure they understand their concepts. Now, they do have a notebook and they write down their equations in it and I'd recommend the same thing. That way, if there is a problem, you can go back and follow their work. Make sure they're writing down their steps because that's gonna get them ready for some more complicated troubleshooting later on. Now I'm sure that both of these are available on Kindle, but this is one time that I really think a good paperback book is good. One, because they've written notes all in them. They've written their answers. Um, you know, they work a lot of the problems in there or in their notebook. But I think this is one time that paper may be better. You can't quickly just click the answer and say, yay, I get a hundred. Really, it's mostly about really identifying the problem writing out what you need to do to solve it. At that point, their answer is gonna be correct. But those steps to make sure that they know how, I think are important. So I'll put a link to both of these books down in the description. Now next, I know you're thinking, well, this is STEM, that's science, math. Okay, get that. But yes, we have a reading comprehension book in here. This probably has been the best one of them as far as STEM because these exercises that are in here, they're not just about reading a story and saying, okay, Jack and Jill went up the hill. Who went up the hill? Jack and Jill. It's not like that. It really stretches your mind to think outside of the box or think outside of the words in this case and really come up with what's going on and how things happen. So this one's been a really good one as far as building problem solving skills. And then yes, I do have to make a tech recommendation, which this actually comes from a friend over on LinkedIn. You have the Audrino Classroom. It is well worth it and it has been an excellent tool for the kids learning how to do some coding and really what I like about this one, kind of similar to the others, is there's not a lot of heavy front end, here are the theories. It's more of, hey, let's do this wiring exercise, which by the way, this is more in a book. It actually comes with an Audrino, the wires you need, potentiometers, all types of fun things. But then it says, hey, do this wiring exercise, write this code, and then let's figure out what it does. And it's been really interesting because even Michael the other day, he was working on an analog exercise and you know he wired his analog in and he was seeing the raw values on the screen and then he's like hey okay this is zero to five volt but what do these numbers mean zero to 1023 and all of a sudden it's like whoa i got a great learning opportunity here so we we're able to teach about analog and scaling and resolution and all types of neat things so this is a good book too so these are four books that I would really recommend that you look at for the summer. And I mean, it is not grueling like guys, we, you know, we must keep drilling the kids all summer. It's just, you know, they, they probably spend maybe 20, 30 minutes a day on it and they're done. And it just kind of keeps their mind moving. Cause I, you know, I know it's a summer break, but if we can keep their minds just working a little bit and keep them a little engaged, then it'll really pay off next year. So I'll put links to all these books in the description. Have a great summer. Till next time.
Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.